me to check the meters. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Bump, bump. I did all my scenes in, in, in about a week and um, had a chance to, you know, be away from the film for a little while before I did the music. Actually, we did it last night. <laughs> last night. Well, last week, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. And um, uh, he showed me, Steve showed me a couple of scenes. I didn't want to see anything besides what my music was going to be in because I'm, I'm waiting. And um, the score, who's the score by? Uh, JB, our composer, Jokmin Bontemps. Yes, JB did the, uh, compose this beautiful uh, piece, uh, com mostly strings and cellos and things. And to me, it's difficult to write over a score, you know, because I don't, you know, it's sometimes hard to follow measure wise, and then it changes uh, keys, you know, within a few measures so um but it was pure purely emotional the the way i approached it they came up with some words for for it and i arranged them and um i don't know just help them pull it all together you know i wanted to really uh make sure that cable's vision was you know personified in that piece so and they liked it you know well, I, I had a chance to kind of bring a, a, a different element, like uh, she brought this, this, this beauty to kind of like these, these ugly moments, and I had a chance to kind of uh, contrast that and bring out this kind of like rage and uh, a lot of this kind of like very uh, energetic moments to make sure that, you know, you're, you're getting both sides of the, of the train tracks in, in our city. So. Um, yeah, it was really cool for me to be able to go in and kind of go into a Rage Against the Machine mind state and uh, come with something like that. And that, that song is dope, man. And uh, I'm really proud of that song because it was, you know, cultivated just for the film. And I, I, I had a chance to watch the film and I saw how the song played in it. And I, yeah, I was, I was really, really stoked. And that was, this is, I think this is, you know, the first time, this is my first time ever uh, being, doing an original song for a film. And yeah. uh, Honestly, if you, if you, even gone to Cleveland, um, even for a short period of time. I think uh, a lot of tourists and stuff tend to stay near the downtown area. And you start to see interesting people come by the downtown area. And it might make you curious to see what's outside of those 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 few streets. Um, and I kind of wanted to expose that. Um, I wanted to show an area where, in which I grew up, in which Machine Gun Kelly and Ezzy grew up, um, that is special to us. It's like our home. Oh, it's not like it definitely is our home and uh, every time we go back we definitely get love but we see the struggle coming out of the city um, and honestly like the land is specific to us but um, we talk about this all the time we talk about how there's like a land in every city and uh, it's just this one hasn't been shown yet and so I definitely always had the dream you know of becoming a filmmaker and coming back home and showcasing this um, we definitely have rap artists that talk about it from Machine Gun Kelly to Ezzy to Bone Thugs and Harmony to Ray Cash like oh everyone talks about this and it was like we don't have anything visually to kind of really showcase this um, and so that was a task of mine along with a dream and then um, it kind of tied into the plot in a, in a very suspenseful way uh, because we had these boys who had a short amount of time to now become professional skaters at any um, just because you have a short amount of time to skateboard in Cleveland because of the weather and so that easily tied into that and going back home and seeing that the culture was rising and seeing that the fact that we have all these new skate parks coming up like I wanted to bring that back home and then going into the skateboarding world um, I wanted to showcase it a little differently. It's a lot of slow motion shots in there. It's very ethereal, and I kind of wanted people to appreciate skateboarding as for its poetry, and that's kind of what I did with the city and the skateboarding aspect and everything else. It's just like that when you see the film, it's not the typical like gritty handheld shot on film camera doing this you know kind of film it's like oh this is beautiful but yeah at the same time it's daunting you know what i mean and we play that with the score the music the visuals the skateboarding and the performances um and it all tied into what i felt represented cleveland ohio